What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. So now that we have learned how to design your mechanical air systems, so this time around we are going to move on to designing a mechanical piping system. So the first topic that we are going to discuss is about designing a mechanical piping system. Alright, so in this series of videos, we are going to create a hydronic piping system that is designed to run in a cooling mode and a heating mode. So we are going to begin the piping system by placing our water source heat pumps and a boiler on our level here, on level 3. So we're going to place it in this area here. And then after that, we're going to create the systems and piping to logically and physically connect the system components, including two base mounted pumps, additional water source heat pumps from level 1, and a cooling tower located on the roof. So this system is modeled to accommodate full system flow through a boiler. So using modulating valves to divert uh, through the cooling tower during cooling mode or to bypass the cooling tower during the heating mode. All right. So um, in this uh, lesson, we're going to place mechanical equipment. Okay, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do is, the, uh, I'm going to zoom into this area here. So I'm going to add an air side equipment. So let's go to the systems tab. And then let's look for the mechanical equipment. And then I'm going to select from the properties here, our equipment. So I just click the drop down arrow. And then I'm going to use um, 2 to 6 tons this one so I'm gonna select your six ton and remember while you are not placing your equipment you can press the space bar to rotate the component so I'm going to press the space bar to rotate it just like that and then uh, I'm gonna place it somewhere here okay and then I'll just select here modify so all those space tags are not included in this view. You can identify a space by placing the cursor over the space component. So like, for example, if you want to know the space of this area, just hover your pointer like that. And then it will tell you that you are on the corridor 328 space. All right. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to um, align. Let me just use a line here. Let me go to modify, use the align tool, and I'm going to align it, let's say, to this face here. Click that one, and then I'm going to align it there. Or maybe just here. So align to that face, and then this one here. There you go. And then just select modify. Okay, and then um, let me just add a dimension. So let's place a dimension from here to here. That's the one. And then modify. Okay, and next I'm going to specify a distance. So I'm going to select the equipment and then change the distance here. So let's say I want that to be 2 feet. So I just type 2 and then enter. And then that's it. And then just select here, modify. All right. So next, I'm going to go ahead and select again the systems. Select the mechanical equipment. And then I'm going to place another uh, water source heat pump to the side here. So again, I'm going to press the space bar. And then I'll just place it somewhere here so maybe I'll just put I'll just use a line tool to make it tidy and there you go and then just select your modify okay so now the next thing that we're gonna do is um, we're going to modify our water source heat pump so I'm going to select these two equipment so hold control after you select the other equipment and then click the other one to select both Okay, and then here on our instance uh, properties, 
So let us change the offset. So currently the offset height is, is zero. That's why currently it's on the floor. So let's just change this to let's say uh, nine feet. And then for the uh, flow, let's look for the water flow. So instead of 18 GPM, I'll just change this to 12 GPM. Okay, and then just apply. Okay, so it's now change. Okay, so next, so we are going to add a water side equipment. So again, uh, let me just go to the systems. Let's select the mechanical equipment. And then from the type selector, let's look for the boiler. Okay, so let me just use this one. Okay, all right. And then after that, I'm going to press the space bar, let's say three times. One, two, three. To make it look like this and then i'm going to place it just here on the left of our two base mounted pump and then just select modify to deselect it okay there you go so in this lesson we just place our two equipment here and then we have changed the parameter of the water source heat pump and then we place another one here which is our boiler Okay, on our next video, we are going to learn how to create a piping system. Okay, so hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.